Hey, what's up guys? Shock here, and today I'm playing Team Deathmatch on Crisis. And, uh, Crisis is a weird map, and it's definitely not my favorite map on Call of Duty Black Ops. And, uh, I thought I'd just give you guys some tips on how I like to play Crisis, because it is a weird map, and a lot of people do have problems with it at times. So, I just thought I'd tell you guys on how I, I play Crisis when I have to play it. Because I really, if I don't have to play it, I probably won't. <coughs> anyway... First, first thing I like to do on Crisis is I like to rush, rush to the enemy spawn as, as fast as possible because, because on this map, there's a lot of different ways to get to the enemy spawn, so they won't really suspect you to be actually rushing there. You could rush so many different ways, it's ridiculous because uh, you could get around a lot of, like I think there's around four different ways or something like that. So, you know, getting around them is definitely not a problem. <clears throat> and you could get behind him and do some real bad damage. And as you see, I'm using the AK-47 with the silencer. And the perks I'm using is Ghost, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Ninja. Now, I'm using Ghost because uh, I, I want it to be stealthy in this one. And as I said, I like rushing the enemy spawns. So I'm using Ghost so that just in case they get a radar, I, I have that security that uh, they, they can't really see me on their spy plane. So I uh, decided to use Ghost on this one. And I'm using Sleight of Hand Pro because this is an assault rifle, and I do love, um, you know, aiming down the sight a lot faster with the assault rifles. So I decided to use Sleight of Hand Pro for this one. I, I use Sleight of Hand Pro for all my assault rifles because uh, aiming down the sight faster with the assault rifles, I find, is pretty effective. So uh, I use that. And I'm using Ninja because I do have a headset, which I just recently purchased. And, uh, and I don't like hearing my footsteps, so I'm, I'm using Ninja. But you guys could use whatever third perk you would like to use. And uh, I'm using the silencer because, uh, I, of course, I just said I'm trying to be stealthy in this one. And I'm using the AK. I found the AK-47 with the silencer is actually pretty effective. And it does do a lot of damage. So uh, I, I'm, I've i been using it a lot lately. And uh, I find that it's pretty good. You got, if you guys haven't tried it out, try it out. It's uh, pretty good with the silencer. I know a lot of people use it with the extended mags. But the uh, silencer is pretty good too. So check it out if you haven't. And on this map, if you notice, uh, I'm in the middle of a lot of the game too, in the middle of the this little area here, because uh, people do tend to come down here a lot, and uh, it's a lot. E it's easy for me to pick them off, especially if I got a silencer and uh, they can't see me on the radar after I shoot. So uh, I find that it's pretty effective down here with the silencer and uh, and rushing pretty easily. And uh, another thing is. Uh, kind of have to know where the enemy is all the time on this. I got lucky there with that grenade that guy rushed out at the same time. You have to kind of know where your enemies are at all times so that you uh, you can always get the kill. And uh, that's why I kind of use the spy plane Blackbird because um, the Blackbird and the spy plane, I really do need to know where they are. If I don't know where they are, half the time I'm going to get shot in the back or shot from the side or something like that. And that's never good, especially when you're playing with random people and they're not calling out. Because uh, <clears throat> when people are not calling out, you know that uh, can get you killed at sometimes. So, so uh, you know, if you do have a mic, please do call out because it, it really does make a difference in the game and teamwork is a big thing on Call of Duty. I mean, it's not a really big thing, but uh, you know, it does help out big time. So, uh, you know, if you got a mic, do use it. Don't be afraid to talk. And um, right here, I'm a chopper gunner, and it does do some work. Uh, especially on crisis because uh, they spawn on the back side so uh, on the back side it's pretty easy to take a, a lot of them out uh, really fast they see they keep spawning back here and uh, it's pretty easy to get them so uh, chopper gunner on this map definitely use it uh, I really use the chopper gunners on uh, on big on, on blocked maps with a lot of buildings because uh, you know I really don't get a lot of kills half the times when I'm using a chopper gunner on on maps with a lot of buildings and this map, it doesn't really have a lot of buildings, but and there's, there's a lot of open areas, so I decided to use a chopper gun on this one. If not, I'd probably use something else, uh, something different, that it, it won't really require me to, uh, you know, uh, that they could go hide and and hide away from it. So, you know, you choose your kill streaks for the maps as well, because that really does come into play. And uh, I think on this game, I go 29 and 1, which is pretty good. And, uh,. I do pretty good on this uh, in this game. Not so bad. And uh, <coughs> I find myself running out of ammo at sometimes, and I don't know. I don't really like using scavenger. Usually, the first perk I use is uh, is like 
it's uh what is it hardline or i'll use hardline most of the time i have to other times i won't even use uh anything else besides hardline but right here i'm using ghost because uh, like i said i was trying to sneak around but uh, the other times i probably won't even uh i probably won't even use anything else besides hardline because uh when i run out of ammo i most i mostly just pick up an enemy's weapon which sometimes can get you killed but uh you know sometimes you'll pick up a better weapon and i think here's where i die kind of dumb how i died died by shotgun from that far kind of made me mad but whatever and uh <coughs> uh my equipment is a claymore using the claymore because uh, i've always said the claymore is a pretty good uh, thing to use a pretty good uh, equipment to use because uh you know, either that or the motion sensor, but I'm using the claymore on this one because uh, I really like the claymore. And, uh, I really don't. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I use it that much. Uh, I think I use it probably once in the beginning. And I just find the claymore effective for me. So, uh, but if you, if you guys, you know, like something else, if you're gonna use a motion sensor, go ahead and use that. It's up to you. It's up to the way that you play. You know. And uh, <coughs> mostly on crisis. I don't know. I guess that's pretty much it on how to play Crisis, guys. Uh, you know, just stay back. Uh, pl play offensively at times in the beginning. Play offensively. And the rest of the game, kind of play a little defensively and kind of try to sneak around the enemy team. Because that really does help out a lot uh, in the long run. Because uh, <coughs> you'll find that you'll get be picking up a lot of kills. And try to be stealthy. So, you know, be careful where you where you run to. And all those, kind of thing, all those kinds of things. And... Uh, and choose your kill streaks wisely because uh, it does matter. And uh, I don't know, that's pretty much it on how to play Crisis, I guess. And yeah, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, it really helps me out. And it only takes you guys a fraction of a second. And please do subscribe because I will be putting videos out every single day. And thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out, guys. Follow Gamerspawn on Twitter. And don't forget to visit our Facebook page.